Hi everyone, my name is Anne Marie and I'd like to welcome you to this card making project. This episode is episode 509 and we're going to make a gorgeous card using our Anna Griffin supplies. Everything I do use I shall put in a detailed list on my blog so please be sure to check it out. There's the item numbers if I can include them if I have them. Um, some of the older items they might not be there. However, it will be the full item title so that if you're searching to try and find them, you'll have that. If you want to contact me, you can do directly through my blog or you can comment on Facebook or on YouTube and now I can reply back to you on YouTube. Give me a few days though because obviously work commitments, things like that. Now I'm going to try and remember to kind of give you ideas of substitute items that you might want to use for different things maybe you haven't got a certain die or you haven't got a certain embossing folder etc but as we go along through the actual episodes i'm going to try and remember to do that so let's have a look at what we're going to be using today we're going to be using our all four corners cut and emboss dies we're actually going to use the bottom one that's like a, a circle pattern and then we're also going to use an older embossing folder and this was from the terrific titles i don't have an item number um it is an older one if you've got other embossing folders you could use those now to be precise we're actually going to use the middle pattern this embossing folder will be some dies um word dies from anna and you would cut out the word and then emboss it in your chosen pattern I find these really useful. So we're going to emboss our, some of our gold cardstock and we're going to make some corners with them. I'll show you how to do that as we go along. So those are the two main items that we're going to use for this. And then we are going to use our brand new feather embellishment set. And that's going to work really well with um, our card. So the first thing we do need is a card base. Now this is um, an A5 size card base. I've already stamped it with put my name on using my Anna Griffin handmade by stamp. A5 size and it's UK A5 size. And we have literally just, um, you can simply make it from folding your A4 in half. Now, my friends across the pond, I know your A4 is slightly different um, in size. You could adapt this to whatever size. You could adapt it, use maybe a square card, actually, one of Anna's 6x6 six six ones. However, I think it's a great idea, and maybe you'd be able to adapt the idea to suit your card size. But mine is standard A5 size in the UK. So all I'm going to do to begin with, I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm going to make sure I've got a nice sharp edge. Now this is from the Anna Griffin tool set. Very, very handy of the bone folders um, for your creasing and your scoring. We're going to do the centre of our card first. Now the centre is really simple. As ornate as the outside is going to be, the centre is going to be really simple. This is double-sided cardstock and it was actually... Um, I think it was from the flip cards from quite a while ago, but I wanted something pale, muted pattern. Um, and this is perfect. So I've cut it to size and it's going to sit in the centre of my card, just around the edge, giving a nice border. I've then taken one of the sentiment well it's not the sentiment one of the stickers from the feathers embellishment and it's the peacock and i've left it as it is and i can simply peel the back of it away and i'm going to add this just to one corner of the card now this is kind of highly elaborate on the outside so I've left it as a 3D sticker for the inside because it doesn't matter. It'll turn in fantastically with the outside. And I've got my sentiment sticker that says hugs, prayers and, prayers and love. Now I'm going to be very controversial with the outside of the card because we're not putting a sentiment on it. I know you're all thinking, oh well, how can that be possible? 
we're just not going to add a sentiment. There's nowhere for us to add a sentiment. So this sentiment says it all, really. Hugs, prayers and love. So it will tell somebody that they're thinking of you, you know, you're thinking of them, you're with them, you're sending your love, your prayers, etc. I've taken the back of the sticker away and I'm simply going to slot it underneath the side of the peacock's feathers. Um, there we go. Now, as far as I know, a peacock, this is the male peacock because the peahen isn't as brightly coloured. I might be wrong, somebody might want to correct me if I am, but I'm sure this is the male bird because he's showing off his feathers, but might be wrong, there we go. Lots of space for your sentiment here, and as, I'm go, I don't want to say plain, as simple and plain as that is, it isn't, because it's just so beautiful in the colour. And now we can turn our attention to the outside. I'm going to use my bone folder, even though we've already done it, but it's just going to make sure we've got a nice sharp crease for the front. Now, the base of the card is a dark green cardstock. I've left it in a complete um, rectangle. I haven't die cut out of the centre um, for no particular reason. I want to say because I forgot, but I don't know why I haven't saved some of it. So I haven't been very frugal with this. However, I don't think it's going to matter. But I'm just lining that up. I've got flat tape on the back of it, making sure it's nice and central. There we go. Now, the green cardstock was from the Perfect Palette range from Anna Griffin. Next... We've started our die cutting and I've die cut four of the all four corner dies in the circle in satin gold cardstock and instead of using them cut into a cardstock I've cut them out so they are corners and this is the ornate corner that we need. I've got foam, 3D foam towards the ornateness or to the ornate side shall we say and then I've got flat tape at the other side and I'm going to add these to my card funnily enough in the corners I'm not worried about how odd they look towards the inside um, it's just trying to get them kind of in the same place for the corners I don't think that's quite in the corner um, there we go so we're trying to go into the corner turn that round and so I've got another two here that I can add on it to the corner and press that down and then the last one is for this corner there we go like that put it the right way around so now you're thinking well they look a bit wonky donkey and um what you're going to do now right okay so next we're going to take our embellishment now i've picked out the actual peacock embellishment that we used for the inside and we're going to build up the peacock, as it's so to speak, really. On the back of the peacock, I've got foam pads in the centre and I've left the stickiness around the edge. Now, before we start with the peacock, we're going to add four corners to it. And I want to show you how to make the corners. Now, the corners we're going to end up with are going to look like this. So what I've done is I've taken my gold cardstock, I've embossed it in the Terrific Titles 2 embossing folder, I've cut out a section and this measures roughly, I'll just check it, it is three quarters of an inch. I turn it over 
so it's coloured side out and I make a fold in the middle and then I fold the other side up so it's kind of like wings and then I can use the embossing folder to make sure I've got a nice sharp score even though we have embossed it the embossing folder won't hurt the embossing and then I can add some tape to it and I've got four corners already now I'm going to add these corners to our peacock embellishment that has the 3D foam on the back and I'm simply just adding them all four of them, pushing them on so that we're just embellishing our peacock a little bit more. There we go. Now he's got his corners, he needs his feathers. So what we're going to do is just tweak our feather stickers and we're just going to do this with the top and the bottom just to make sure we get it in position really we've got four of the feather stickers now I know we're being a little bit uh, um, what's the word uh, we're not frugal with this we're using quite a lot of our stickers we're going to pull that to one side and we're going to use two more of our fans, uh, feather stickers. Now, maybe you don't have the feather stickers. Maybe you have the fans. The fans would work. And you could use something else for the centre. And there we go for the second one. So we're adding two through the centre. And... We'll just pull that one up a little bit, just so that they're roughly at the same height. I tell you, this is going to be a big card. Now we can add the centre to our card. We need to take off the back of our stickers that we've just added, where we've positioned them. So we'll just press that down. And then we can add this through the centre of our card like that there we go um, and Marie's just realised she's missed a little bit shows I'm not perfect I've cut out the corners again two of them and um, they are supposed to go just at the side of the peacock feathers in the centre. There we go. Thank goodness for being able to tweak things. There. Press everything down and now I can finish our card with a little bow at the bottom. And it's just something a little bit different and it just looks so cool and sends somebody your love and prayers and that's how it's going to look. So this is our finished Splendifious card from today and as I said it's a big card, it just looks so cool. It's got a few layers on it and, you know, it could be easily adapted for a different size of card. Please check my blog for lots of photos and close-ups of the card, just in case, say, you may be watching the video again. Maybe videos aren't your cup of tea and you just fast-forward to see the finished item. So those photos are on my blog. If you have enjoyed the video, please click like. Please subscribe as well and then you will be notified when new videos are available. So it just remains for me to say thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time.